Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh, and today we are going to discussing about how to switch the context. Okay, in the previous video, we saw about how to get the get context and get context, right? Uh, how many values it will be there, and uh, how in AppM Inspector is showing the similar format whether we are able to get the result in a console or not. We are already seen in the last video session. Okay, now what i can do right now i'm going to give some time wait here okay after giving some wait i need to switch i need to switch actually okay driver dot switch context and here i can able to provide my context value in the last video session time i copied here right it is a chrome uh, web view underscore chrome you have to copy the same naming convention okay then only we can able to validate otherwise we can't able to do it okay naming conventions are mandatory okay once we moved back then we can able to verify this particular context is whether it is presented or not okay whether it is displayed or not because we need to move that particular location and we need to do it okay and now I'm going to run for this particular app. Before going to run, I need to close everything. Now again, I'm running here. Okay, I'll tell you one thing. Maybe some people are real time working with the office laptop and all. That times maybe if you as are able to get some uh, issue with the Chrome browser, I'll tell you one particular uh, security alert one. Maybe it will work for you guys. Mine is personal laptop. That's why there is no issue. Okay. If you are using for office laptop, maybe you will get it. Not for exactly you will get it. Maybe. Okay. Now you can see here Chrome view and it is verified for this particular option also. Retrieving two to three times uh, Chrome view. Now login, you can able to see uh, that also. Request. Some server side issue, something happened. Automate Chrome 83 point. You could also try to enable automated Chrome. Download as possible, work around. Okay. There is no much issue. Okay, it is passed because it is working as expected. If you want, again, one more time, I will run it. Okay, in case something if you get like uh, uh, due to Chrome driver being missing, Chrome driver is be missing like that. If you get something uh, errors, right? Go to wdio.android.config.js file. Okay, there is a config dot services will be presented, and here we need to add it for one line of code like comma and you need to use for curly braces inside that args and colon again two curly braces and here you need to add for relax security colon true this one you need to add it if you add right it will work for you guys as well in case some people will work for office right maybe that moment you will get it some issue that moment you need to add it otherwise it is not required most of the time it will pass without any issue in case if you get something issue then you will maybe you will get it okay still it is showing something 500 in the middle of that 
verification is result is pass okay but it is taking some time to validating purpose time it is failing some one unexpected failure okay but not a our code exception okay if you see the result will be true because we are verifying for this particular one okay some browser issue okay check with the your end also maybe it will work for you guys as well okay you need to create one xpath and you need to try for this text equal to login and to display expected okay <clears throat> and then now and after verifying we need to come back right we need to click back and it will comes to here and one back right after switching it will be different one step is back is different right how we can able to switch back to our app side okay how we can able to switch back that we'll see into a later video session Okay, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.